Terrarians, how's it going? My name is Pixelated Fireball, and welcome back to the Spirit Mod. And it is a beautiful night here in Scenic Spirit Aria. Got the moon up high in the sky and all the sparkly little uh, Lunar Tower fragment looking stars in the background, which is part of a uh, background texture pack. Honestly, I don't remember the name of. Haha. <laughs> because I got so many of them I forget. Uh, this is a new thing, by the way, that I noticed. I don't know if anybody has noticed that this, uh, that the gravestone is doing a balancing act on top of this little flower here, but that's kind of neat, right? That's cool. I'm gonna leave that like this forever, just so we know. But uh, today, or I guess tonight, special plan is to finally deal with that pesky moon jelly wizard. I'd like to take him down, which means we have to activate the quests. I believe. Turn that stuff on, jellyfish hunter and all that. Is there a way to make the moon jelly deluge happen? Can be summoned by using a distress jelly. Found in asteroid biomes and caught using a bug net. The one night nothing actually happens. Oh well, that's fine. I guess we'll just summon forth the wizard and everything will be great because we're so much more powerful now than we used to be. We're just going to jump right into it. Here he comes. There he goes. There we go. And the power begins! I have Abigail's flower, by the way. I'm just gonna let her do all the hard work, because, you know, why wouldn't I? And that lovely classic Moon Jelly Wizard soundtrack, and that's so nice. Just let her do all the work. I really shouldn't be bothering trying to attack that much. I should just let everything uh, do the fighting for me. I forget how to be a summoner sometimes. Silly me. You don't need active participation. You know, if the Moon Jelly Wizard got hit by a falling star, would that then potentially do a lot of damage to it? Even if it is from space. Oh wait, I almost forgot. I do have the power of a sentry. I should be able to summon this out here and do big damage. And there we go. And that is the end of the moon jelly wizard. We've done it. We have succeeded over the giant jelly monster. Yes. And I got a blank glyph. Took care of that business. Knocked that down pretty fast. All right, let's open up the bag. See what we got inside here. Cornucopion. Hmm. Interesting. Hold the charge of lightning that strikes nearby enemies. Charging for longer periods makes more strikes. Charging too long electrifies me. Can only be used on surface or higher. Oh. Well, that was pretty nice. I like that. What do we got here? Not a lobber. Oh, wow. Look at that. That's cool looking. It's a big bonker, too. Nice. Let's deposit all that stuff. More than likely, I'll never do that again. Of course, I can't really get any more treasure bags, you know, because the operator's not here. Shame as it is. I gotta defeat the big bad brain monster, which is uh, next on the list anyway. So I'll knock that out. But before I go, I should do something I completely and totally forgot about because I'm in such a hurry. I'm hustling and bustling. In addition to getting Abigail's flower, which, you know, grows very happily from all the little gravestones I've got laying around everywhere. I've also got some uh, some glyphs on all my weapons. And that is because I finally got that lovely lady wherever they went. There we go. Orano, power up your weapons with my strange glyphs. Then you get glyphs. That's what you get right here. Null glyph, frost glyph, rage glyph, and radiant glyph. So, you know, that's, that's kind of neat. Cool stuff there. And I'm, there will be more. And it looks like these glyphs have changed since the last time that I played. I remember they were rather overpowered. I'm sure there will be more as we go on. But we're just going to stick with rage on or afraid a uh, frenzied friend. That's the word frenzied on everything. All right. So now we're going to take a little bit of a detour. Now, I did say that I was going to defeat the big bad brain monster, or I guess the worm in this case. But before I do that, we encountered something over there in the beyonds. Grab some of these because, you know, I guess I have to be a mage summoner now. But we have to go down into the depths below the jungle because we encountered the verdant our good old friend apotheosis is down there said hello to me so now we have to head on down and uh begin that special little quest line oh wait i forgot hang on i've got to do the thing hold on i know hang on there we go all right now we're good but well, the reason why i want to go over there and knock that quest out first or at least get that started is because i do have some really good summoner stuff that i'm able to acquire from the verdant and as well as a lot of like good utility stuff the quality of life changes and such so definitely want to get on board all that business so i am going to find the primary tree and I'm going to dig straight down. Maybe while I'm over here, I'll get Snapthorn. Wouldn't that be something? That would put an end to everything between now and the end of the game. Or at least the end of pre-hard mode, anyway. All right, we got to be getting relatively close here soon. There we go. There it is. All right, so here is the Verdant's tree. 
which is directly above where the actual underground verdant is at, if you're curious. So that means it'll be down here somewhere, down below. So let's head down this way and see what we can find, if anything at all. Do a little bit of underground spelunkerating. I will probably find nothing, more than likely. Neil's on wheels. What is that? By Explorer Trev Irwin. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. There we go. I get to do it again, don't I? I get to have the special voice yet again. Hang on a second. Let me get some more safety. All right. Here we go. Meals on wheels. Oi, crikey, mate. Despite the lack of cravings in this place, that won't stop us getting absolutely chockers, eh? Oddly enough, full course meals are a regular thing to find in most dead buggers. Fresh and hot, too. Tell that to your closest mate, and they'll think you're for chops. Sign and odd, I've noted down some sources for you. So get your runners on and your magical sword of death and destruction in your favorite hand ready for a good hunt. Okay, that's enough of that. We got hummus, meatballs, popsicle, all kinds of good stuff there going on. I ain't reading all that in, uh, in the bad Australian accent. Once again, I definitely do not apologize to the nation of Australia for my transgressions. You're, you're, the way you speak is funny. I don't know what you want from me. All right, here we go. Wait, doesn't, does this, does this make the mining faster? I don't know. We have exploration set. I am a traveler. An explorinator. I'd like to be out of the damn water. Because mm, I hate water underground. Now it looks like I'm mining faster with this set on, so I don't care. We're going to go this way. Here we go. And eventually down in the below depths, I shall find the verdant. Is there something in the jungle, I wonder, perhaps I could do? I could probably look at these quests here and see hive hunting. Explore the beehive. Let's see if we can knock that out of the way and hopefully not uh, accidentally summon the bee. But, you know, of course, who would ever do something like that, silly, haha. <laughs> Head to the jungle to fish up a hornet fish for me. Supposed to be a real delicacy. A tough catch. What do you mean? This sounds like the angler wants you to do. Okay, cool. That's something that I can do over here. What else we got going on? Dark feather mage. Sky high zombies. Dr. Bones. If I see him, I'll knock him out. Screech owl, nymph valkyrie. Hmm. Okay, cool. Well, finding the uh, hive really isn't that overwhelmingly challenging, but maybe we could do that on our way through. I'm not really particularly looking for a jungle exploration right now, though. But I'm not complaining. If I find something good, I find something good, you know what I'm saying? Check it out, guys. It's Starbound references. I remember these from before. Those little areas down there. Oh, God, there's so many things. There's things. And we go. All right, we got that stuff. We're going to grab stuff while we're here. Go, 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 go. But the Starbound references right here. That's what these things are. Little tiny fishing ponds, but they were a sort of structure that would generate underground in the world in Starbound. And uh, they, they just looked exactly like that. So it was kind of neat. You know, that's that's really all there is to it. It's a reference. I get it. It's a subtle one, but I get it. This, uh, this mod's got a lot of those. Which is fine, because Starbound aesthetically was really cool. It was a great game to look at, but the gameplay... It's absolute garbage, I gotta tell you. It is... It, uh, well, I've... You know what? I have played more individual mods for Terraria that have more content in them than the entirety of Starbound. I mean, music? Great. Art style? Spectacular. Right? Personality of some of the characters you come across, that's awesome. Design for the worlds and the ability to uh, explore, you know what? That's not bad either, it's not good, but it's not bad. But, uh, you know, everything else, you know, the things that actually make a game good, you know, like the gameplay. Yeah, not so great. Oh wow, ancient cobalt pieces already, that's pretty nice. Not that I'm actually gonna need it, but it's kinda cool that it's there. Oh my god, and a nature's gift too, look at that. I am just rolling in the dough. I really am. I'm just accidentally bumping into this stuff down here, man. Tear rain, underground verdant theme. There we go. We're finally here. All right, I guess got to work my way around. I'm going to kill some of these guys because, you know, I want I want stuff. I want loot, so I'm going to get stuff that has loot. Oh, God, it's the fog. It's the verdant fog. I thought I disabled that in the config. Ah, all right, fine. We'll tolerate it for now. I don't know if it's an in-client thing or not. I don't know if I can change it without getting out of the game or not, so we're gonna just deal with it. Oh wow, hey look, I found the lizard temple too, isn't that something? Oh god, you see, there it is. It's the fog. It should be relatively peaceful down here, if I'm not mistaken. I gotta actually move to underneath the tree. Down there is where I will find Apotheosis, so let's go look and see what we can find. Ladies and gentlemen, and all other forms of existence, I present you the Verdant. Look at this place. You see all that green stuff? Right there is what you call bait. And then you just grab it all, scoop it up. All right, let's move around here, see what we can find. Oh, there we go, apotheosis theme. Have I found him? Oh God, he's completely underwater. Uh, well that just ain't gonna do. Hang on a second, we gotta fix you, apotheosis. You're not gonna be like this the whole time. I don't think so. I'm not going swimming every time I wanna come see you. All right, 
a little bit better down here now. So let's see what Apotheosis has to say. Remember to breathe, keep the plants thriving, and return to me once you've slain the Great Eye. May we find each other in good spirits soon. Okay, well, I've already done that. So now what? The eye is felled. Thank you. There we go. Take this trinket. Return to me once you've beaten the eater. There we go. I've got the zip vine. Allows the user to build a vine. The vine works like a rope and can be used in any open space. These vines use these guys, lush leaves, to build and drop them on being destroyed. There you go. How's that for you? But it works a little different. You gotta, you gotta do the thing. Hang on a second. Hang on. Hang on. Let's see if I can do it. It's not working. It's a little bit janky. It's kind of, it's kind of weird. It's fine. It's fine. I don't, I don't know what. There we go. See, look, look at that. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Yep. All right, we like that. That's cool. Anyways, but yeah, there we go. Now we got that out of the way. We can go back to the base and then happily defeat the big bad worm monster and hopefully we'll uh, get all kinds of goodies got some passion flower bulbs too from down there they're basically like the chests they've got lots of good stuff in them light bloom there we go more regen in light environments lush leaf wand lush splinter don't use that moon glow seeds yeah lots of stuff and deposit come back and deposit and there we go oh hey and look at that we've got ourselves some codexes too from all that good stuff I guess kind of summon things. So we've got a stamina zone to increase movement speed, which is made out of empty arcane codex, floor and bars, and, and jungle spores. And we've got an arcane codex that uh, gives me a healing zone, which obviously increases player life regen while standing inside. Well, we're gonna go with that one, definitely. Look at that. Pretty neat. So while I'm in it, and then when I leave, do I get it for a few seconds? Okay, so I just have to pass through it, really. And the healing zone lasts for 10 minutes. Okay, it's pretty neat. I like that. Any other fun stuff? Feral Claws, uh, Anklet of the Wind, I've already got it. Cloud in a Bottle. Tsunami in a Bottle. I've got uh, Sandstorm in a Bottle already. All right, that's fine. We'll deal with it. Moving on. Now we go to defeat the Big Bad Eater of Worlds, who should be a relative pushover. Also, I completed none of these quests, by the way, so hooray for me! There is a corruption over here, right? All the way on the other side of the world. Never mind, hold on a second. Wrong side, but that's fine. We'll do this one too, it's fine. Oh wait, wait, there is a thing! Stop! Oh god. Oh, there's so many things to be distracted by in this particular mod. Every time I go to an anywhere, just non-stop, something else to see. I guess that's not necessarily a bad thing. You know, just kind of like getting distracted all the time, though. Hey, there's going to be some kind of progression going on here. We're going to move forward. We are. Oh, yeah. By the way, this soundtrack in particular from this mod is one of my favorites. The nighttime soundtrack for this? Oh, yes. Very spicy. All right. What do we got going on here? Time to find the stuff. I'm looking for stuff. You got any? All right. Our first orb. I actually don't have a hammer. That's fascinating. Where did my hammer go? I thought I had a hammer. That's all right. I got a wooden hammer. I guess I never made a hammer. That's kind of funny. There we go. And the second one. What did we get? A band of star power. That's not bad. All right, we got one more left. I believe in myself. It can be done. All right, I have one extra bomb. That's fine. All right, let's see if there's any way that I can clear this area out because these little stink blooms over here, they're kind of being a problem. All right, put up our campfires. A few platforms, that ought to be good. Ain't too worried about this fella. Or maybe perhaps I should be, but I'm not. All right, so I think we're good to go. Let's call forth the big bad worm monster and see if we can take him down. Now I gotta run away. Run away very fast. There we go, and attack. Hit him with all the things. Oh, what is this? So I have to choose between a sentry and a codex. Oh, that's terrible, I don't like that one bit. All right, it's fine. This is fine. Everything's fine. Penetrative magic, not really particularly taking a lot of damage, but it's fine. I'll be ping pong balled. Here we go, I got this. I know what I'm doing, I'm professional. Regenerative power go, oh god, I'm dying, I'm half dead. You know what though? I don't care if I beat him or not, because I don't think there's any gear requirements that I need to, to beat him for. Unless there's something good that drops from his stuff, and even if that's the case, I'm still gonna get it from him anyway. This is great, we're doing good. We are doing good. Here we go, how about some heals? How about some regenerate? Here we go, how about some feel better? I got this uh, Scarab Shield up permanently. I'm always taking less damage. When you're playing a summoner, just give yourself some more armor. It's fine. It's all good. I don't even think I'm trying to dodge this guy, to be honest with you. I have put no effort into that at all whatsoever. There we go. He's dead. Nah, dead, dead, dead. Come on, all you dead. There we go. Come on. Have you even dropped me below half health yet? What are you doing? You're supposed to be difficult. And there we go. That's the end of the Eater of Worlds. There is no more. I got the Worm Scarf. 
I got a, a tentacle spike, I guess, too, which is neat, I suppose. And we got shadow scales and demonite. Nice. All right. So is there anything of value that I could make out of this stuff for a summoner? The mana shield. It's kind of cool. Frigid wraps. Attacks inflict frostburn. It's not bad. But aside from that, everything looks about the same. All right. All right, back to the base, and we deposit all. Maybe I'll use the worm scarf, perhaps. I don't know. Anything new from Summoner? Hmm, I can get a shadow orb, which is good. I will grab first, however, the uh, the nightmare pickaxe, wherever it is. Where are you? I know you're here somewhere. Oh, that's right. I forgot. You gotta turn them into bars first. They gotta be bars. Silly me. I know, I made a silly. I know what I'm doing, I'm a professional, don't worry about it. And there we go, finally, Nightmare Pickaxe. We've got that, knock that out. Pretty good. Oh, and there's more quests available now, hooray. What do you want, Johanovic? Really shaking up the world after slaying the great evil in the, that disgusting biome. New horrors are starting to crop up everywhere. Marble caverns have quite a stir, especially. This new monstrosity has got tentacles, eyes, fireballs, you name it. Go kill the monstrosity. Hmm. You want me to go down and defeat uh, this guy? Beholder. Interesting. Ancient marble. Yeah, man, I gotta tell you, I'm uh, kind of noticing there is uh, kind of a distinct lack of uh, any kind of summoner related thing, so you are going to have to excuse me for not really being in that big of a hurry. As the wise magic conch shell once said, maybe someday I will make our shadow orb. Or would I rather have a crimson heart? Health and movement speed. Mana and movement speed. I choose health. Ooh, 11 out of 15. See, the stats are randomly rolled. I didn't know that, so there we go. Hmm, I get a little bit extra health, a little bit extra movement speed, right? And a, a very minor amount of fishing, which is fine. I don't really care. That's okay. All right, so now that that's done, do these folks have anything new to sell to me, I wonder? What about you, Daryl? Got anything special for me? Not really. Looks like... Oh, there we go. Putrid splitter, huh? A ranged weapon. That's very disappointing. I expected better from you. What about you, Alexander? Do you have any new items that I could just buy so I can cheese the exploration part of this game? You sure do. I'll buy all the fishing stuff. It'll make my life a lot easier because I'm definitely going to be going for some of that stuff. I would absolutely like to knock that out. Once I get a goblin army, I want to try to get some of the fishing stuff going. Get that enchanted sundial so we can get this day-night cycle thing speeding up a little bit, you know? But I think with that, I am going to call it an episode. We have done a good bit today. We took down the moon jelly wizard. We've defeated the eater of worlds. And uh, with great skill, we've done both of those because I am a professional Terrarian. I'm quite the whipper snapper. You get it? You get it. It's a funny joke. Get it? Because whip and snap. <laughs> I'm very funny, if you didn't know that. Um, if you're here and you don't know that, you must not be paying very much attention, I tell you what. So, anyways, all that being said, we did some good exploration today and we've accomplished some good things. So I think with that, I'm going to call it an episode here. Give myself a pat on the back for being a successful Terrarian yet another day. What perfect timing. Overworld alt alt. Victory day. What a great way to end it. But anyways, like I said, I think I am going to call it an episode here. So, thank you guys so much for stopping by and checking me out. I really appreciate it. And as always, whatever it is, wherever you are, day or night, hope you have a good one of those. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.